Welcome back on the Lobo Coaching Show with the head football coach for the University of New Mexico, Bob Davey. I'm your host, Robert Portnoy. Coach Davey, it's time now to get to our Subway fan question. And this one comes from Alexia and Brittany here in Albuquerque. You go to golobos.com to submit your question. And this question is, how emotional will it be for you to take the Lobos back to your home for a game against Pitt? It would be really emotional if we go back there and win the game. You know, this is, uh, but this is the third time I've had a chance to take a team back to Pittsburgh. I, I did it twice at Notre Dame. But, yeah, I mean, I grew up in Pittsburgh. I'm from Pittsburgh. Uh, you know, I started coaching at the University of Pittsburgh back in 1977 as a graduate assistant. Uh, my dad still lives there. He's 89 years old. Uh, he had nine brothers and sisters, so you can imagine how many cousins I have. Uh, you know, my mom grew up there. She had four sisters. So I've got a lot of cousins. I've got a lot of people. I think I'm up to 35 tickets already requested for this game. So we'll have some additional Lobo fans. I'm excited to take our team back, you know, to play where the Steelers played. Uh, we watched a lot of Steeler tape last week because Sh Sean Coogler's last job was with the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I told him Friday night, I said, next week, this is where we're going to be. So it's exciting. You know, it's a big city. It's a pro stadium. Uh, it's really exciting to go back there one and one. I'm glad to take this team back there. I'm proud of this team. What's Sewickley like? Just 20 miles up the Ohio, I noticed, from Pittsburgh proper. Well, the only thing, I was born at Swickley Hospital, you know, but I'm really not from Swickley. But, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's a neat area. You know, sports are very important. Family's very important. And football's very important. All right, let's get to our Subway Player of the Game now. I think you have a pretty good idea at this point who it's going to be. 291 yards, rushing a career-high 41 Six. carries. Casey Carrier, four touchdowns. This is a big, touchdowns. long run that set up the Lobos just outside the red zone as they were going down for a go-ahead score in the fourth well, quarter. Well, last week, Casey was frustrated. You know, we were all frustrated because we couldn't get the running game going. You know, a lot of people ask, have people caught up with you schematically? Uh, my point was, let's just keep, what we, keep doing what we do. Just do it better. Don't lose confidence. And I think Casey Carey was a great example of that. Uh, that was a heck of a perform performance. You know, 42 carries, 290 yards. Also, our backup running backs. Caruso got in there. Jarrell Presley did some things. Uh, Demarcus Rogers did some things. It was a heck of a night. We, we were able to run the football all night long. Quick question about that play right there. So close to breaking it, taking it to the house. That last block there from Jarek Magnet, the wide receiver. Is, is he reading that block to go in or out, or is Jarek trying to seal him to give Casey the sideline? Yeah, any anytime you get in the open field situation, you don't know how that whole thing's going to play out. I mean, it definitely becomes a read based on how they play it, how the block happens. I mean, that's just playing football. Well, like when you were a little kid in the backyard, that, that's what that is. You mentioned 61 snaps for Casey Carrier in the opener against UTSA. You mentioned getting more guys carries in this second game, the win over UTEP. But still, going over 40 touches out of the backfield. Yeah. And he only had minus two yards for the entire game. Right. His net was only two yards less than his gross. That's amazing. Yeah, and, you know, I thought about it last night coming back on that bus, you know. You know, Casey's the guy that gets in a rhythm. He's truly one of those rhythm backs where the more times you give him the ball, truly the better he gets. We did get some guys in, but it's hard to take number five off the field when he's on a roll. All right, back with more on the Lobo Coaches Show. We're from the studios of U Public Television, the head football coach for UNM, Bob Davies. We're back right after this.